We have to purchase the building because we are tenants here and we were given the opportunity to buy our building um, and we were given first right in order to do that. So we had a short period of time to decide and since our lease is up a year from December, December 2013, we wanted to make sure that the co-op could remain in this location. Um, we basically thought that if we didn't at least try to buy the building, that somebody else could try to buy the building who didn't see the value in having us as a tenant. And then we ran the risk of actually losing our ability to be a resource for our Isla Vista community. We didn't want to run the risk that somebody should buy the building and not see the value in having us as tenants. Um, and looking at Isla Vista right now, there's just absolutely not another location in this community that would serve the co-op's purpose. We're a pretty big, big store here, and some of the new developments have large spaces, but they're very expensive. Um, and the other risk that we ran is because our lease is up next year, renegotiating the lease would most likely cause an increase in our rent that would actually make it, if rent was to go up to the point of what the commercial rental like average is for Isla Vista right now, we ran the risk of being like priced out of our abilities here. We want to maintain our ability to be a resource for our community and the economic reality of that is that we need to stay right where we are and try to maintain what we're paying for our current rent which would become our mortgage. We have a wholesale program here, it's called Business to Business. Um, restaurants buy it through us, other businesses that aren't restaurants um, that have other retail endeavors buy it through us, other small producers buy it through us. So someone who makes granola can buy their ingredients at the co-op and then go and make their granola in a certified kitchen space and then they can turn around and sell their granola back to the co-op. And so we're not just serving restaurants with ingredients, we're serving tons of other businesses that are doing small batch food production, that are having small retail spaces on their own. Um, and so we serve a lot of different um, businesses in that way as well. We've worked with some farmers, we were their first customer, like John Gibbons and BD. Like when we opened in 1973, we were the only place that was buying organic at the time. Um, and so we actually work with about 30 or more farmers throughout the year, uh, many of whom are dependent on us as a huge source of their income. And so by getting rid of the co-op, they would actually be losing a huge, you know, a huge resource for their own livelihoods. I mean, we're definitely, um, even though we're small, we buy from a lot of small growers also, and so a lot of these small growers can't get into farmer's market or don't try to go to farmer's market, and so we are a huge chunk of how they make their income. We need to co-op for so many reasons. I mean, aside from the fact that this is the only place to buy food like this, organic and local produce, bulk foods, high quality deli items, like in the Isla Vista area, um, where a lot of students don't have cars um, and therefore don't have access to food like this easily. Um, the co-op is so much more than just a grocery store for our town. It's a hub of the community. Um, we want people to feel like they have a place for themselves here where they can come onto our patio and hang out and have a study group or, you know, again, where they can access food that they might not normally be able to have access to in this community without leaving Isla Vista and making a trek either in a friend's car or on a long bike ride. Um, I think it's important to have a genuine and authentic business in Isla Vista. Um, this business is community owned and therefore here as a resource first and foremost and we want students and community members to have a place to come shopping that has their best interests first. Um, aside from the fact that we're the only co-op for 90 miles north or south of here and so aside from serving our local Isla Vista community we're providing a resource for people that come in as far away as Carp and Lompoc and Ojai um, Kuyama, you know, Quail Springs buys all of their food through us. Uh, people want to have an economic alternative to support and we are that and we're the only one that is that for the entire county of Santa Barbara.